um, DDO says consistency always wins and um, you get that in the practices in the interest class we do and so um, my goal is just to carry out what I do in practice into competition. So when you're at practice there's a lot of younger girls on this team and especially that huge sophomore class I mean um, as one of the leaders on this team, your attitude at practice, do you hope to try and, I guess, rub, have that rub off on the rest of the, rest of the girls? Oh, definitely. Um, we talk about being a leader, and there's different kinds of leadership, you know, a vocal leader. Um, I think for me, I lead by my actions. Um, I really love working hard. I love getting my work done in the gym. Um, and I think that our younger classmen see that, and they say, oh, like, Sarah's doing really good, or Sarah got finished with practice really fast, but um, that's where the consistency comes in, um, because at this point in the season, you don't need to do a lot of numbers. It's more quality over quantity, and so, um, I mean, I hope that's what they take away when they see me. Just confidence-wise, uh, you have to be confident, I mean, especially the way, the way things have been going. I mean, um, how is your confidence level, especially, you know, after a win over the weekend and just going into the rest of the season as well? Um, it's going up, which is great. Um, we really needed that um, road win, and especially against Alabama, another SEC school. Um, whenever you're up against an SEC uh, competitor, you know it's going to be a good meet. You know it's going to be tough. And um, so I was just really proud of the way that we approached this weekend. Um, we talked about starting off strong and ending strong because um, the past few meets, we've had some pretty good routines overall, but then it's just never added up to that end score. And so um, what we really focused on was just being in the moment, staying in the routine for every single turn, um, and not giving up until, until the meet's over. After the Auburn loss, you all, all kind of said, you know, you, didn't want to, you don't want to peak within the first couple of meets. Do you kind of feel like you're starting to hit a stride right now? Definitely, and that comes with... Um, numbers, the number of competitions we've done already. It's kind of like beginning of the season, especially the first meet, it's like, oh, we haven't been out, you know, with a full crowd yet. We haven't been on a road meet yet. Um, so just getting used to, you know, the comp competition environment because it is different than practice. Um, I guess it's, you don't feel the same pressure. Um, I mean, we try to practice pressure sets, but it's different when there's 15 girls in the gym facility and there's 10,000 people in the PMEC. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think our confidence is rising and um, I can't wait to see what we do next. It has to also come with the fact that you're probably getting a little bit healthier also as a team and people are still trying to shake back, but I mean, every week gives more time for rehab and just kind of getting ready. How much do you think that kind of helps you guys as well? Um, definitely, yeah, coming in the fall, we had a lot of injuries from last season and in the summer, people had surgeries. Um, just like nagging injuries that didn't really go away. Um, and also in the preseason, it's, we do a lot of numbers. And so that kind of, kind of hurts your body a lot because especially at our age, gymnastics is a young sport. And so the older you get, your body, your body is like, it's wearing and tearing. Um, but in season, we focus on the quality of the routines. We don't really emphasize on many numbers. And so that's when the rest comes in, that's when um, the consistency is very important because you don't want to do a lot of numbers. It's a long season and we have to preserve our bodies till the very end. And um, but yeah, we definitely emphasize on getting treatment every day, um, sitting in the cold tub, you know, using Normatex, using um, anything, any modalities that we need to be the best that we can be. You say numbers. You just does that, does that mean does that practice is more and more reps or like is okay? Yeah. So like number of routines. Now you're stepping out of the SEC to, to host NC State this week. What what what, is, what are you looking for in, in this week? Obviously, it's not quite the same, you know, intensity of you know SEC competition and trying to win, you know, beat an SEC team. So what are, what are you looking for? Is it just to continue that arc of of, of, of improvement? Those those recent you know mid one ninety seven scores you had. Well, what what are you looking for? Um, well, I'm looking forward to, it, to being back in the PMAC. It's always fun um, with our home crowd. And also, we talk about, yes, we need to focus on who we're up against that meet, but also keep in the back of the mind that we're also competing against the entire country. There are rankings still. There are, um, you know, you can see how people do every weekend and then compare to how our performance was that weekend. And so um, just focusing on ourselves and making those little improvements that we have been making and so just 
continuing to exceed because um, we still have little things that we can improve on and so we're just focusing on those things. Um, <coughs> and so about Ruby, this talk about how she's progressed this year and she's an upperclassman now and uh, you know she's she obviously had one of her better meets it was even Alabama just you know just the season she's had and how she's progressed as a, as a teammate. Yeah, Ruby's awesome. She had an amazing meet last Friday. Um, I don't know what the judges saw in that vault, but I didn't see anything. So, um, no, I'm really proud of the leadership that she's had on this team. She's starting to speak up more. She's starting to um, just take control of the reins because she's she has a quality in her that isn't. It's different. And I think that's really important in a team sport because we want those leadership qualities, but we also want it to pull from different places because um, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, you can have um, a vocal leader, you can have um, a leader through their actions, and um, and Ruby's really starting to step into her shoes and um, just giving her all for us, and I'm I'm really proud of it. You barely stepped in on um, on Friday against Alabama. What are you seeing from her as she, you know, we get more into the into the season? If she's probably going to be in more um, lineups from here on out. Yeah, um, we joked it before the meet. She goes, I don't know what it is with away meets, but I guess I'm only going to compete in those. And I said, No. Um, she just got here. She's still young. She's still learning, and she's still um, taking it all in. And I keep reminding her, like, hey, Bailey, like you might be in that alternate spot, but that alternate spot is almost the most important one because you don't know if someone's going to have an off day. You don't know if someone's going to not be feeling well like what Lexi had. Um, and so, like, it's always important to be ready because you could be up next, and that's exactly what happened to her. And so um, I'm really proud of her for just embracing the moment and being aggressive um, because that is scary for a freshman to go into an arena that's not your arena. Um, and doing that. And so um, I'm looking forward to her being on more events as we go along in the season. And um, I'm really proud of how she's improving. What do you think it is about her that um, Coach sees in her that allows her to pick her to have her step up in situations like that, especially over this course of the season so far? Um, she has a great J.O. background, um, really strong events. She's had some elite experience, which always helps. Um, also, her skill set's very good. She's um, I mean, when she was recruited, she's shown consistency and with, with these great skills. And so um, in college gymnastics, you want a variety of different skills. As you saw on Friday, she has a different vault. Like, not many people do that vault. And so that's cool to see. And that's cool to bring in um, for our, our school and to see, like, a variety of skills. And so I think that's what she brings for our team. Was that a 10 0 start value vault? Yes. How big is it to have something like that just be able to insert in the lineup at a moment's notice like that? Great. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, full toasting your Trinko, that's my vault. Um, that's a 995 start value, and it's, it's the generic start value because it's you can spot the landing, you can see on a one and a half, that's a 10 0 start value because it's a blind landing. You don't see, you can't spot the floor. You can't, basically, you land when your feet hit the ground and you can't see it. So that's why it's harder. Um, same with her vault. She has to turn on to the horse and, and she lands forward. So that's also a blind landing. So that's harder too. Um, but it's cool that we have the depth that we do um, because it's really important going into later in the season, wanting that depth. Um, just so we can um, change the lineup a bit, you know, fresh some people's legs, and um, like you saw Friday, just change it at a moment's notice. You, you, you said you've also nine nine five. Yes. Do you, do you anticipate it going to a ten at some point this season? Um, if I change it. Is that, we'll in, is that in the plans or not? Not right now. Um, I'm struggling with an ankle problem right now, so okay. we'll see. Just speaking of the depth, obviously Juliana Canamel has been, you know, in and out. She's always been just a, a reliable person to have in an alternate spot. You know, mm -hmm. how important is somebody like her who's always ready to go in, like you said, like Bailey is sometimes too? Yeah, so important. And Jules has the experience. You know, she's a senior on this team. She knows what it's like. She knows what it's like to um, 
go in at that last moment. I think it was last year at home against Alabama. Um, someone went down and she had to be that sixth spot on floor and it was the last floor routine and she nailed it and then we won. So um, she knows what it takes. She knows how important it is and um, she knows, we know that she's going to bring it every time. As a uh, St. Louis girl, I, as, as you may have noticed, people are a little upset about the way the Saints Rams game turned out. <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 you, are you maybe unhappy for a different level that the, the Rams <laughs> left St. Louis and now they're in the Super Bowl? Does that, does that strike you? <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's funny because I was born in Los Angeles. Were you really? Yeah. Okay. And then, but I grew up in St. Louis and the Rams were there and now they're back in LA. So are you funny. a Rams fan? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really watch football, so <laughs> maybe knows this. <laughs> how do you, how do you, obviously people have not gotten over this. How do you deal with judging, uh, sc scoring, when it's like, I know I did better, I, sh I deserve better than that. How do, how do you move on from, from that? Um, I mean, gymnastics is a subjective sport. It's you're being judged based off of a lot of different things and so we always talk about controlling what you can control so what we can tr control is our routines we can control those hit handstands we can control those stuck landings and so um we just talk about being the best that we can be so those judges they would have to give us those scores and so um that's a work in progress we're, we're still fine-tuning our routines we're still fine-tuning our execution um but it's only going to get better from here just scrolling through the internet a lot of gymnastics fans are disappointed in like discrepancies across the nation in different conferences and scoring you know what is i guess what is that like for y'all when you see like somebody in like the big 10 or something get mm -hmm. a 10 for maybe that would have been something like a 9875 in the sec yeah i mean there's honestly nothing you can do about it but then at the end of the year that's when it matters and at the end of the year you're going to see all of those teams on the same floor and so that's when it matters and that's when the judges are going to have to judge equally because everyone's there you know it's not like oh we're in florida here we're in louisiana here we're in um, michigan up there like everyone's it's going to have to be an even playing field